Hey guys, what is going on? Today we got the uh, pin blister, the first pin blister of uh, one of two, of course. This has the this is the Mega Gyarados one, and I'm going to adjust my light a little bit. I don't know how it looks, but it kind of looks like a little dim. I don't know. I always never know how my lights are going to affect it and stuff like that. I got like a lot of lights on, a lot of different lights. I'm trying to use the natural light, but it's getting late and stuff like that, and I wanted to do this sometime else but you know what I thought I'd do it now because I want to get these done with and I hope the lighting looks okay but anyway this is the pin blister for Mega Gyarados uh, shiny form of course that looks awesome um, the other one is the Mega Caesar one I actually looked at I was at GameStop because um, this um, is from GameStop that tag means it's from GameStop you can see the power up reward kind of symbol there that's how you know it's from GameStop and I don't know any other ones that actually have a uh, sticker on them like this. Usually at the thing they don't put a sticker. Um, it's just like a scan bar right there they use for whatever. But um, GameStop has their own thing. But anyway, enough on the rant. Um, enough on the uh, talkings like that. Uh, this is... Uh, what am I saying? Yeah, so this is one of two. But I didn't get the Mega Caesar one. I don't know why I couldn't find it. Um, it was... Uh, well, I asked the associate, and he's like, uh, he said uh, they didn't apparently have it um, stocked or something like that. They had this one, but they didn't have the other one, and I'm like, I was kind of like, really? You have one of the pin blisters, but not the other one. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So I will head over to Walmart, and I tried to search for it there. Didn't find it. I did find these, though. So I'll be doing those next time, and I'm like, I, I didn't see it now, but I, Deoxys and Genesect, wow, that is going to be... I can't wait to see those coins, look at those coins a little better. Uh, but anyway, on to this one. Um, enough rambling on about um, stupid stuff and stuff like that. Trying to make sure I don't get lost, you know. Not stupid stuff, but you know, stuff that doesn't matter to this opening. So I'm going to get this out, get the pin, or the pin out and stuff like that, to get the packs out, and then throw the rest aside, the garbage and stuff. So we can throw that aside, blah, 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 yep. Alright, so, oh. Forgot this piece of plastic. There we go. All right. So anyway, let's take a look at this Mega Gyarados. Uh, yeah, Mega Gyarados EX or well, Mega Gyarados, not EX. This isn't a card. This is just a pin. The Mega Gyarados pin. Oh, very nice. I love the detail on that. Wow. I always keep saying about the detail and that stuff, but I honestly am surprised on how the quality of these always turn out to look super amazing. That looks just wow. I love these, especially since the red Gyarados. I kind of wish they would come out with a non-shiny form now, just so I could have both of them like they did with the Rayquaza form, because that looks pretty cool, and uh, I'd like to have the other one as well, but that's that's pretty awesome. So anyway, we'll put that aside, and let's get to the three packs. It's already going on three minutes, so might as well get these open right away. So anyway, let's put these to the side. Start with the uh, Mega... Uh, now I'm thinking about Megas all the time here. Let's go with the Greninja pack here. <laughs> all right. I always never know how to adjust the tone of my voice when I'm speaking on to here, so I, I don't know what to, what you really expect on how my voice sounds so like that. I always think like it's it's too high or too low. So we have potential break card in here, and as you know uh, from my previous videos, I um and everybody else I think knows this. If you get a green, you can have a potential break card. You could potentially get a break. If you uh, um have a white card, it's a guaranteed hollow. Um, in there, or better. So that's how they're doing this, and I'm honestly ashamed of Pokemon for doing that. I'm gonna put the Mega Gyarados right there. Right on, it's riding the Mega Swampert. I just realized that. Uh, right there, the Mega Gyarados riding the Mega Swampert. That's pretty cool. Alright, so let's flip this over. Let's see if we can get a break card. Alright, so start off with a Luxio, a Palpitoad, Potion, Froakie, Pharaoh Seed, Electabuzz, Star you, Blitzel, Dragalge Rare Reverse Hollow. So it's not a, it's definitely not a uh, break card, but it's definitely a rare reverse hollow like that. So this does come in hollow form. So getting the reverse rare hollow or reverse rare of it is uh is also nice to have. So our actual rare isn't going to be a hollow, but a Pangoro, and I don't really care about that. But still two rares in one pack. It's always nice to get. At least we didn't get too, totally shot out of that pack, you know, getting like a, a common reverse haul or something like that, but whatever. Let's get the next pack open. Hopefully we can si find something better. Hopefully we find that uh, favored white card now that they have them like that. So let's see. Yes, we do. We got a white card. All right. White coat card. That means we got a hollow or even something better. Hopefully we ho so hopefully I'm hoping something better. So, let's go for it. Let's go 
we got ourselves an Electivire. I, I feel like I saw something there. Uh, let's see, we got Splash Energy. Very nice. Want to get a lot of Splash Energies. Those are awesome. Uh, we have a Pseudo Udo, Blitzel, Numel, Shinx. Uh, I can already see it. Can you guys see that? I, I think I see something. I swear I see something. A Ducklet, Hone Edge. Reverse is a fighting fairy belt. That is nice. This thing goes for a lot, and it's honestly better to have a lot of these, especially with the reverse. That is great. And the actual rare, as I thought, it's an ultra rare, but let's see what that ultra rare is. It is a Manaphy EX. This brings my Manaphy EX count, I think, to like three, two uh, regular arts here and one full art. That is awesome though. And I gotta grab my sleeves. I got my sleeves like sitting right up here. You guys can't see them, but as you can see, got a sleeve right there. So I'm gonna sleeve that bad boy up right there. Very nice. Manaphy EX and a reverse fighting fury belt. That's the stuff right there. That's You can't go better in a pack right there. I mean, except for like maybe a full art. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to keep the reverses separate, I think, just so I can um, organize them better. I'm still organized. I'm not not still organizing the breakpoints. I got all the breakpoint organized, but with opening these things, obviously I have to organize the cards into there, and I just want to get them organized like right away so they don't build up, because if um, I'll, I'll move my camera so you can see what I have left to organize. It's right there, and that is what I have left to organize. It's not that much, but it is still potentially a lot. Those, um, those range from uh, sets from black and white, uh, for anywhere from black and white to Primal Clash. Yeah, to Primal Clash. Okay, so we have Potential Break card right there. So nothing really good in the, in the last pack, unless I can get a Greninja Break. That'd be great. Greninja Break would be great. Um, but yeah, I still have that organizing to do, so I just want to get the Breakpoint. Uh, any Breakpoint cards I get from here on, just organized, like, right away. Ooh, another Fighting Fairy Belt. Not a Reverse, but we still have potential we can get a Reverse, so that's pretty cool. I like that. Fighting Fairy Belt. We need a lot of those. That's going to be really good in decks. Uh, we got Slowpoke, Rattata, Scorpy, Pancham, Cricketot, Frogadier Reverse, and the actual Rare is a... <laughs> Is a Greninja. So we go from a Frogadier Reverse to an evolution form of a Greninja. So that's pretty much it. Uh, we did score some pretty nice pulls. Manaphy EX being one of them. Uh, obviously one Ultra Rare. At least we got one Ultra Rare. That's pretty good. Um, out of these Blister Packs, if I get one Ultra Rare, I say it's a good pack. Uh, last one, I, I really haven't fallen short on any Blister Packs because I've gotten... Out of all my Blister Packs, I've gotten at least one what I consider kind of ultra rare and not ultra rare. My first one, I got a Luxury Break, which honestly I didn't have, so I consider that a great, a um, good opening. And the other one, I had like the Mans VX4, which I go into the Mana VX regular art again. So, I feel like I'm going to get a lot of Mana free from this set for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's a... Premonition or something. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you want to crack the code cards, definitely check out the description below. And... If you did um, like this, uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video.